Hello dear viewers of the channel Dune of Smarters. I'm Alexander Sudriv and in this video I will tell you about part of our film crew adventures in China. We got a lot of impressions in the course of our trip to visit the project partner Viktor Aristov and that day wasn't an exception. We were able to visit the branch of the Harbin Institute of Technology located in the city of Weihan, one of the biggest universities in China. The number of students in this branch amounts to over 11,000 people and the teaching staff is about 540 people. The history of the university amounts to almost a hundred years. Among other things, these universities top 10 most influential engineering universities in the world and takes the honorable place 7. The thing is, as many of you already know, Viktor Aristov is actively promoting the combined winding technology Slavyanka in Europe and Asia. Various universities, for example, Bologna, Bangkok and Dusseldorf universities have repeatedly expressed their interest in the motors he produces. In this particular case, the work of Viktor Aristov also drew some attention. The government of China got interested in the technology and they prompted visiting Harvard Institute of Technology. The institute gave a very warm welcome to Victor and our film crew. There was a tour organized for us, during which all the participants got impressed by the university territory. It's really huge and represents a small town made of different buildings, separated by sports grounds and recreational park zones. Having visited all the classrooms and laboratories, everyone got impressed by the Ocean Research Laboratory most of all. Inspired by the university's motto, which is as follows, high standards and optimal preparation. Our team headed to the laboratory, where the preparation of another testing of the motor with a combined wind in Slavyanka was well underway. The process was running over. We observed a liberal discussion of Victor and the head of the university, in the course of which the participants drew the graphs on the board, completed the calculations both on paper and in their mind. In the end, the tests were not completed on that day, and our visits sparked the interest of both the university representatives and government to do enough smarters. We simply didn't have enough time to hold all the scheduled tests, but there is one thing I can say for sure. The combined winding technology Slavyanka proved its efficiency once again, and the team of the project doing of Smarters proved its professionalism. Unfortunately, I can't share the test results with you now, because the testing procedure is not completed yet. But I hope that as soon as we have the opportunity, we will prepare a corresponding video report for you. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments to the video, subscribe to the channel and be posted to all the latest events of the project doing of smarters. See you again!